Good evening, Andrew Andrew here. We're at the Public Theater. We're seeing Giant. Which is based on the film of the same name. It's a Texas-sized tale of epic proportions brought to life in living musicality. I am trying to see as much Texas culture before they secede from the Union. And yes. We, and we need to use our passport. This show is being brought to us by Via Dallas Theater Center. I've heard it might have a pro-Texas message. <laughs> It's almost three and a half hours long, and I'm scared. That's a long time, one intermission. Also, it's a musical? I'm just glad we're not wearing those yellow ties. Do you remember those yellow ties? They're like in we want, we, every review we've done in the past week. Right? We should have worn the bolo ties. Yeah. Um, so it's intermission, and first off, the whole thing about being long, it's not that long. Like, it might not feel long, but it definitely feels Big. It's very epic. When, this is a triple sized cast, and how big is that freaking orchestra? It's, and those sets, holy mackerel, it is very obvious that there is big Texas money behind this production. It's a big cast of characters, and it takes a long time to get to know and to really appreciate them. Only at around 45 minutes in did I feel like I really knew who these people were. I have seen this film, but I've only, I saw it ages ago, and I kept thinking, wait, that didn't happen. No, wait, that didn't happen. They do a good job of not shirking from the complex history of America and Texas, but it, they do slip, slip the bonds of the plot of the original film. This show gets most interesting when they talk politics. The whole politics of the Mexican and, and Texas pride, especially now with what's going on with, with the nation, it's really refreshing. What becomes less interesting are some of the numbers where it's more personal and not the political. It's kind of like a made-for-TV movie. It, I want to eat that meringue, you're gonna bake me. No, well, look at Grey Gardens. I mean, it's, it feels like Grey Gardens or next to normal. Well, there's still at least another hour and a half left. This is a big story. I'm engaged. Um, I'm, I'm engaged, engaged too. I'm just, I'm also, we are very alcohol forward people mm. on stage in 1941 i believe there was a bottle of hendrix gin didn't exist i guys. don't think hendrix gin existed back well, then at least not that bottle property master nix the hendrix you know what i just realized we didn't really give a synopsis of the plot because that'll be easy to do yes it's a three-hour epic it's basically about a family. The transition through generations of this massive empire and, and the transition of power from agrarian to industrial. It get, it goes places. First off, I want to say, where was the second act during the first act? The second right? act got the second act was really awesome. blew up. You need to take some of that second act energy and great direction yeah. and plug it into the first act because the first act is lacking in what the second act has. This show is basically about progress versus stagnation. And I hope this does very very, very well, and it goes back to Texas, and all these Texas people see the show because it's about progress. Yeah. They touch on racism, they touch on feminism, and they kind of touch on homosexuality. As a little, the first three or four numbers in the second act were, were, I were perfect. Moving. They kind of waned a bit, but in the yeah, end. Yeah, it wiggled, then it, then, it, then it kind of was like, whoa. Regardless, it's a yellow light for me. You know just, what? Just because it's, it's just, it's a sprawling epic that sometimes loses its way. It's regretfully a yellow it's light. A yellow. Two yellow rows of Texas for Giant at the Public Theater. <laughs>